Currently, it takes about 9 months for a rocket to travel from Earth to Mars. NASA and SpaceX have ambitious plans to send humans to Mars by 2030. However, humans can currently only stay in zero gravity for a maximum of 6 months. Valery Polikov, who holds the record for the longest space stay, spent 14 months in space. When he returned to Earth, his bones had weakened significantly, and it took him about a year to recover. To address this challenge, NASA, in collaboration with the Department of Energy, initiated a mission to develop a nuclear rocket engine in 2017. The aim is to transport humans from Earth to Mars in just three months. NASA's goal is to achieve this by 2026 by successfully creating a nuclear rocket engine. The concept of a nuclear rocket engine is not new. It has been under consideration since the development of the first atomic bomb. The potential of nuclear energy has been explored since then. In 1944, Stanislaw, Ulam and Frederick D. Hopman proposed the idea of creating a nuclear rocket. NASA commenced research on nuclear rocket in 1946. In 1955, the AEC and the Air Force initiated a project rover with the goal of developing both a nuclear aircraft and a rocket. The first prototype of nuclear rocket was successfully tested in 1959. The NERVA program commenced in 1965 with the objective of developing a nuclear engine for Mars mission. The program successfully tested the prototype of NERVA next A5 engine. Unfortunately, due to insufficient funding from the US government, the project was terminated in 1972. In 1973, research on nuclear rockets was halted, primarily due to the initiation of a space shuttle program. After approximately 45 years, in 2017, efforts to revive the mission of building a nuclear engine were initiated. NASA is currently working on two types of nuclear engines, nuclear thermal engine and nuclear electric engine. Currently in chemical rockets, we utilize combination of liquid oxygen and methane fuel. These fuels are mixed in the combustion chamber, leading to an explosive reaction that generates thrust for the rocket. This thrust is crucial for propelling the rocket off the Earth's surface. The biggest drawback of chemical rocket is that we are able to convert only one third part of the fuel into energy, which reduces its efficiency. Not only this, the rocket is very slow, but in a nuclear thermal engine, we produce heat with the help of a small nuclear reactor. After that, we pass liquid hydrogen from the storage tank to hot tubes. Due to heat, liquid hydrogen gets converted into gas, and then the nozzle increases its pressure and releases hydrogen gas. A similar process also happens in chemical rocket. So why is it more efficient than that? To measure the efficiency of any rocket, we use specific impulse. Specific impulse is thrust force upon a flow rate, and the faster the rocket will release the fuel from the nozzle, the efficiency of that rocket will be higher. The fuel flow rate of a nuclear thermal engine is about 8 km per second. The flow rate of the same chemical engine is about 4 km per second which makes a nuclear thermal rocket twice as efficient as chemical rocket. Second is the nuclear electric engine. The process of producing electricity is similar to nuclear power plants. In a nuclear electric engine, we produce electricity with the help of a small nuclear reactor. Now we ionize xenon ion with the help of this electricity, which we pass through the nozzle and generate acceleration. And xenon ion comes out at a a speed of 40 km per second, which is 5 times more than nuclear thermal engine. Then why are we not using nuclear rockets yet? The efficiency of a nuclear rocket does not depend only on the flow rate, rather it also depends on thrust, and thrust depends on the quantity of fuel released by nozzle, and the flow rate of xenon in nuclear electric engine is higher, but its quantity is less, because of which we cannot even get out of the earth with the help of a nuclear electric engine. Apart from this, we use uranium in nuclear rockets. Controlling it in space is a big challenge. Support the mission of making our scientific knowledge accessible to everyone. By sharing this video, like the video and subscribe to this channel. So see you in the next video. Bye bye.